Hello everyone and welcome to your weekly Oracle card reading for October the 5th, uh, sorry, October the 6th through to October the 12th. So that's Monday, October the 6th through to Sunday, October the 12th. And today I thought we would use the Earth Magic deck of Oracle cards. That's them there and as usual we'll pick one from for each day of the week starting from Monday the 6th. So I'll just shuffle now. Okay, now let's pick Monday's card. And for Monday we have Ebb and Flow. And that's that card there. And for Monday, this is telling me that you've been feeling like life has been a little bit hard at the moment and on Monday you may still think it's hard, but trust me, the flow is about to come. You've been having the ebb, you've been having where life is very stagnant, very still, uh, maybe a bit difficult, but the flow will come soon. So life always has ups and downs, ebbs and flows. And um, on Monday, you know, you may still be struggling a bit, but know that the flow is about to come, so don't let it get you down. Okay, let's have a look at Tuesday's card. This one wants to jump out for Tuesday. Ah, see, and that just shows you that the Tuesday's card is River, and River card is about movement. So on Monday, you still may feel like, as I said, you're stagnating, but the flow is coming. And then on Tuesday, we have movement. And see, the cards relate so that that on Tuesday you might feel this stagnation, this difficulty is starting to move away from your life, it's starting to flow out and all the good things are starting to flow in and this bad stuff is starting to flow away. Or if you're feeling stagnant, you start movement will start coming, things that will encourage you to move forward in your life. So that's good for Tuesday. Let's look at Wednesday's card. Ah, oh, Wednesday's card is lightning card and it's all about power. But this isn't about your power over people or somebody else's power over you. They're telling me that for Wednesday it's about your inner power and to trust in your inner power and your inner strength. And people always get confused. I think power is a negative, bad thing, but power is a neutral entity. Power is um, neither good nor bad, but it's the wielder of the power that that can be um, negative or positive. And if you use that power in a positive way, then that's a great thing for the world. And they're telling us. And the, the divine beings are telling me, use that inner power. Use that inner power to, to create good in the world. Because you are a powerful being. And whatever you do is effect, affects the rest of the world. So use that for good. Use that for positive, positive forces. So next we will pick Thursday's card. And for Thursday, uh, Thursday we have creation. And creation is talking about, this is a great time on Thursday to be creative, to create things in life, they're telling me, to, to Im Im use your creative gifts on Thursday. If you write, write. If you paint, paint. If you draw, then draw. Or even in your other work, if you don't do these things, be more creative in what you do and that will, then you'll enjoy your work more. So even if you're a business person, maybe go about things in a more creative way than you would usually do it. And that's the Thursday. Okay, Friday. Let's pick Friday's card. Friday's card is Release. It's a, the autumnal equinox and it's about releasing on Friday. And they're telling me that, yes, as I said earlier for in the week, you have been struggling. And it's time to release and let go of that struggle and just give it to the universe and say, y y could you deal with this for me, please, universe? You know what's going on. You know what you're doing. You deal with that for me and I will move forward in my life. I will let you handle those worries and I will go forward and I will do my best to move forward in my life. So on Friday, it's just about releasing. It's about letting go. It's about trusting in the universe to help you. Okay, so let's pick Saturday's card. What's the card we have for Saturday? Ah, it's a reflection card. It's winter solstice card. Okay, and this is saying, after you've released and let go, you often have a time where you reflect back on what's gone on. And that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. You reflect back and you go, okay, I can understand why that happened. 
I know that there was a lesson in that hard time, a lesson in that struggle, and I understand that, and you reflect on that, and you take your lessons forward into your new life, into your wonderful new world, where you can use those lessons for good, and you can usually help other people. So let's have a look at the last card for the week. Sunday's card, we have purification. And that goes with what I was talking about, because the, angel, the um, angels and the divine beings are telling me, that um, this purification card is all about after you've reflected, after you've looked back, you look at what's going on and you, you look at the lessons you've learned and then you purify those lessons. You you purify your life, you, you let all the old stuff go and you purify those lessons and you say, what are the important things that I've learned out of this? What are the things that I can teach others? And you purify it and you simplify it and then you share it with others. And that is your purpose for being in the world, to light up the world, to share your lessons with others. Well, I hope that you've had, you have a wonderful week. And I hope that I have been a catalyst for positive change in your life. And remember, if you feel like no one's there, Colleen cares. Thank you for being here. Bye now.